Competing priorities marked today's redistricting meeting with some plans prioritizing preserving incumbents districts. Does at least keep the three incumbents uh, in the District 24. Other plans focused on keeping counties together. Every one of us so far has had conflicting priorities. That's what's going to happen if because we did not come to any sort of agreement, to the best of my knowledge, as a committee before we all went into doing this. And the very last principle is protection of incumbents on that list. To accommodate for the state's urban population growth and rural decline over the last decade, lawmakers have proposed adding one district to the Fargo area with two more to the Williston area. That means some rural districts could cease to exist in the same way, including District 26, whose representative Kathy Scraw urged committee members not to dissolve. It is just as reasonable to dissolve a central district as it is to dissolve District 26. And people will be disenfranchised if their legislators are being put into an entirely district, different district where they no longer will be able to vote for those legislators. But Vice Chair Ray Holmberg assured that any change in district shape would still abide by the one person, one vote standard, meaning citizens of that district wouldn't lose representation, but they may lose their current representative. They all will get to vote. They might vote for different people, but no one has been disenfranchised. The entire legislature will reconvene in November to vote on the map. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beertemple.